Hello and welcome to NSO at Home Live, a concert series created by the musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra. My name is Marissa Recchi, I'm principal second violin of the National Symphony. I'll be your host tonight and every Sunday night as we bring live music into your homes and hopefully into your hearts. Happy New Year and good riddance 2020. <laughs> that was a compilation of some of my intros during the first eight months of our show. And so tonight we're doing part two of our retrospective. We thought it would be fun to look back on these eight months together and showcase some of the extraordinary performances by our NSO musicians. I have to say one of the silver linings of this very strange year has been sharing this show with all of you. So I'm looking forward to revisiting some of these terrific performances by my colleagues in the orchestra. And we're gonna kick things off with Angie Cho. She is a relatively new violinist to the National Symphony Orchestra. And this past summer, she was joined by her husband, Andrew Eng. He's a violinist and violist. So we're gonna remember right now a performance that they did of the Martineau Madrigals for violin and viola. This is the first movement. Let's revisit this terrific performance from Angie and Andrew. Thank you. 
sixth show was one of our most popular shows to date. We had almost 140,000 views on Facebook, which was really exciting for us. And on that show, we had NSO principal bassoonist Sue Heineman. She's so charming. It was so much fun. She told us a little bit about what it's like to make reads and her adventures with adopting cats during COVID-19. And she also shared with us this delightful piece called Streets of Laredo by John Steinmetz. So let's look back on Sue playing the Streets of Laredo.
to encourage all of you to follow us on our social media. We've been posting things even over the holidays. You can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. On Facebook, we are NSO Musicians. On YouTube, we are NSO Musicians. And on Instagram, we, we are NSO underscore Musicians. So please look at what we've been doing, subscribe to us, like us, check us out. So one of the things I've loved about this series is you've gotten a glimpse into our lives and into our homes. And this past summer on one of the hottest days uh, in DC, NSO principal horn player Abel Pereira took us not only into his home, but into his backyard. He was joined by some guest musicians, Regina Madrid, Jerome Gordon, Andrew Eng, and Daniel Cho, and they performed the Mozart Quintet. We're gonna revisit the first movement of that, and you're gonna notice not only was Abel joined by these guest string players, but they were also all joined by the birds and the cicadas on this warm, sticky DC night. Let's listen to the first movement of the Mozart Horn Quintet.
months, or perhaps you're joining us for the first time this evening, maybe you'll consider a donation to the National Symphony Orchestra. If you'd like to do so, it's very easy. You simply go to kennedy-center.org slash support NSO. And any donations you give are 100% tax deductible. It would mean the world to us. So perhaps that's something you'll consider doing this evening. So this past October, we were joined by NSO assistant principal timpanist and percussionist, Scott Christian. He is so amazing. I always love hearing him play and he always brings to us really unique, um, different music. And this evening in, in October was no different. He brought to us a piece by Molly Joyce. She's an American composer based in New York City and she wrote a piece called Purity that is for prepared vibraphone and cymbal. Now, when we say an instrument is prepared, it means that it's been altered in some way to change the sound. And in this case, Molly Joyce asks for the use of aluminum foil on certain bars on the vibraphone, and that changes the sound of those bars. They sound very different than the rest of the instrument. Hey, who knew that Reynolds wrap could be used for more than just the kitchen? You can use it on the vibraphone too. So let's check out now Scott Christian's sizzling performance of Purity.
one of my favorite things that we have done this season is feature young artists, these youth fellowship students on this program. So the youth fellowship program is something the National Symphony Orchestra does. It's for high school students. It's very competitive. And these young students come and study with members of the orchestra, but they also get to study chamber music and they observe our orchestra rehearsals and play with us from time to time in the orchestra. It's just been such a joy to get to know and get to hear these young, vibrant teenagers. They've been so inspiring. And amazingly enough, this is the 41st season of that program with the National Symphony Orchestra. So to celebrate 41 years of youth fellowship greatness, we had a cello quartet on led by NSO cellist Rachel Young. The great thing about this is Rachel Young was a long time ago, a member of our youth fellowship program. Now she of course is flourishing in her profession and she's also an incre incredible mentor and teacher to so many young artists, including the people that were on the show with her. So she had Eleanor Aronin playing. She's a current Youth Fellowship student studying with Rachel. We had Lourdes de la Pena on. She's an alumna of our program. She's currently a student at the um, Oberlin School. And we had Shar Prescott playing. She is an alumna of the program, studied with Rachel. And she's currently the principal cellist of the U.S. Marine Chamber Orchestra. Such a great group of women. And here they are performing Julius Klengel's theme with variations. Let's celebrate 41 years of youth fellowship. <laughs>
Hey, we will be back next week with another terrific NSO at Home live show next Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. So please join us then. We will be featuring NSO violinists Ali Osborne and Ben Scott, and they will be joined by guest pianist Anna Kanina. Also, we have a youth fellowship student, actually an alum of the program. His name is Graham Lovely and he plays the horn. So we'll be catching up with him and seeing what he has been up to since he graduated high school and our youth fellowship program. So please join us next Sunday at 7 p.m. We're gonna close things out tonight with a rousing performance that uh, just made me feel so great back in 2020. We were featuring this evening uh, Heather Ledoux Green. She's an, an NSO violinist. And actually on this particular show, we featured her entire family. She was joined by her husband, Adam, and their two children, Miles and Tessa. They're all terrific musicians. And so we're gonna close out this evening with a duo that Heather did with her daughter, Tessa. They're, this is so much fun, you're gonna love it. This is an, a performance of the great American fiddler, Mark O'Connor's FC's Jig. He's a great violinist, he's also a great writer, and you're gonna see this has got all kinds of bells and whistles and great fiddling, and couldn't have imagined a better performance than the one Heather and Tessa played on our show. So let's revisit Heather and Tessa playing FC's Jig.
as it was back in 2020. I love it so much fun. What a great way to start the new year. Well, that is it for us this evening. I hope you've enjoyed looking back on these wonderful performances as much as I have. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Just a couple of reminders. Uh, if you'd like to donate, you can go to kennedy-center.org slash support NSO if you'd like to give any money to the Nas National Symphony Orchestra. And of course, please come back next week, Sunday at 7 p.m. to hear violinists Ali Osborne and Ben Scott, joined by guest pianist Anna Kanina, and our Youth Fellowship alum Graham Lovely on the French horn. So please come back and hear some great music by the wonderful musicians of the National Symphony Orchestra. Thanks so much to our producers, Bob Reardon, Jamie Roberts, and Dave Murray for all they do on this show. Thanks so much to Thomas Baker for his beautiful artwork. Thanks to Sophie Edwards for all of the tech needs on my end. And thanks to all of you for tuning in all this time and rallying behind us during these difficult times. We wish you, of course, all the best for 2021. And we look forward to seeing you next week. In the meantime, please stay safe and stay healthy. Yeah. <laughs>